This video will be a little bit different from my other videos. Instead of showing you a custom card, I will go more in depth on how I integrated Music Assistant in my dashboard. When I posted my dashboard tool video, link in the top corner, this was one of the most asked questions. How does your music integration work? So this is the video for that. I will go over everything you need to know to set up a similar dashboard for your home assistant. If you want the full code to everything you need, you can find a link in the description. This includes all the helpers, custom cards, scripts and the YAML for the dashboard view. Before I show you how my setup works, let's quickly talk about Music Assistant. Music Assistant is an add-on for Home Assistant, which makes Home Assistant a fully fledged music player. It lets you stream music from different sources, like Spotify or Apple Music, but also your own library through something like Plex. Music Assistant started as an independent project, but is now part of the Open Home Foundation, so basically Home Assistant family. If you want to follow along with this video, make sure you have Music Assistant installed. Okay, let's start. This is the music view from my personal dashboard. On the left we have an iframe that shows the Music Assistant interface. This is pretty much the same as if you would click on the add-on web UI in the sidebar, just directly in your dashboard. From this I can do anything I can do with Music Assistant, like search, look at my artist and start playback of course. On the right we have some custom buttons. I have a button for each room in my house. If I click the button, playback starts on the speaker in that room. For that I created a script and some helpers, which we will look at later. So let's start playback in the office. As you can see, the playback started and I can see it in Music Assistant and interact with the speaker. On the right side, the buttons to start playback disappear and the volume slider for the speaker that is playing appears. Here I can easily change the volume of any playing speaker. Underneath, we see the playlist buttons. These are custom buttons with playlists that I listen to often. If I click one of the buttons, the music player changes to the specific playlist. Let's take a look how it looks on mobile. Here, I am using a custom media player instead of the iframe. On the top row, I can transfer the music to another speaker, like the kitchen for example. Underneath, we have the player with some of the usual options. We can change the repeat option for example. Below that, we have the volume sliders. If we go back up and click on the playlist button, a bubble card pop-up opens to show the playlist buttons. One special thing for the mobile player is the bottom media player. This is only visible on mobile and stays at the button for each view for easy access to the music player. And that's basically all the functionality of my Music Assistant dashboard. Let's go back to the desktop view and look at how everything works. So first we need to set up the helpers and scripts. We need to create a universal media player. You can do this via YAML in your configuration file. This is how it looks. You have to change the children to your Music Assistant entities. It is important that these are the entities for Music Assistant. We also need to set up an input text. We can do it like this via YAML or, how I did it, set it up through the UI. The name is Music Playlist and I changed the maximum length to be 200. Let's move on to scripts. To make everything work, I set up two scripts. The first one is Play Favorite Playlist. This script has two fields, an entity field, which is the entity you want playback to start on, and a playlist field. This can be the media ID for the playlist you want to play, but it defaults to the input text we just created. The script itself is quite simple. It saves the playlist to the input text and then starts playback on the entity we provided. The second script is quite similar, but a little bit different. In this one we only have a playlist field, which also needs to be provided. The script saves the playlist to the input text and then checks if music is playing on the universal media player. If so, it will change the playlist on the media player entity who is the active child of the universal player. This is why it's important that you only use your Music Assistant entities for this. Ok, let's look at how everything is set up on the dashboard. On the left we have a section that has a width of 2 and is only visible on big screens. Inside is just a basic iframe card. You would have to change the URL to your Home Assistant URL. Make sure it has an HTTPS URL. Your local IP will not work with the iframe card. On the right we have a section that is only visible on mobile. It holds my mobile header and the mobile media player. Underneath we have most of the rest. We have the music start buttons. These are inside a conditional card, which only shows them when the media player is not playing or paused. The rest is quite basic. We have different buttons that pretty much all call the play favorite playlist script that we looked at before. We call the script with the entity of the button. Here we have the custom media player I'm using on mobile. This is what it looks like when no music is playing. The card only shows when music is playing. Let's go through it from top to bottom. At the top we have the same square buttons as before. But here, instead of calling the script, we call the Music Assistant Transfer Queue Service. 
This lets us change the speaker. After that, we have the media player itself. I am using a button cut template here to clean everything up. But the full code is provided in the link in the description. Underneath that, we have the volume sliders. This is quite simple. For each room, I have a conditional card that checks if the music player is playing or paused. I am also using a button card template here, as I am reusing the same card for all of them. And below that I have the same for desktop. Lastly, we have the playlist buttons. These are custom buttons that are created for the playlist I listen to often. On my home assistant in the www folder, I created a folder called images and I saved an image for each playlist. I am using these as the entity picture here. When I tap the button, we call the set playlist and play script with the Spotify URI as the playlist field. I just repeated this for every button. At the bottom, we basically have the same thing again, just this time inside of a bubble card to make it a bit nicer for mobile use. I also changed the grid columns to three to make the buttons a bit bigger on mobile. Okay, let me quickly show you how you can set this up yourself with the code from Gumroad. Make sure you have set up the helpers and script like I showed you before. Then, go to Settings, Dashboard and create a new dashboard. Navigate to the dashboard, click Edit and then Raw Configurations Editor. Now paste the code from the Music View YAML. You basically now have my setup. It includes all the custom cards already. To adapt the to your setup, you need to go through all the cards and change the entities. For the iframe card, you need to change the URL to your Home Assistant URL. And for the buttons, you need to change all the entities. It is still quite a bit of work to adapt it, but this was the easiest way I could think of. If you have any questions, write them in the comments and I will try to answer them. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think about the slightly different format. As I said before, you can find a link to the full code in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. I have other videos where I create custom cards, show off cool hugs cards or a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching.